Hi, my name's Danny and this is Annie and this is our daughter and we are from a project called We Be Kids. At We Be Kids we make short films that help you connect with nature and boost your well-being. Today we are going to show you how we can take some lovely hawthorn berries and make some hawthorn ketchup. The hawthorn is a native tree found in the UK. It's often found in hedgerows or in the shrub layer of woodlands. The berries are packed with nutrients and have a tart, tangy taste or a mild sweetness. For centuries, they've been used as a herbal remedy for digestive problems, heart failure and high blood pressure. It's also really, really key in Chinese medicine. To make hawthorn ketchup, we need a few things. A pan, a sieve, some utensils for mashing and stirring, a large bowl, 500 grams of washed and salted hawthorn berries, 300 millilitres of water, 300 millilitres of apple cider vinegar, 200 grams of sugar, some salt and pepper, a sterilised bottle, a funnel, and perhaps you will need some items to measure out with. We begin by pouring our 500 grams of whole berries into the pan. We add to that our water and our vinegar. We're going to place the pan on the fire and bring to the boil. Keep the berries on heat and keep them simmering until they begin to split. This may take about 20 to 30 minutes. Next we're going to strain our hawthorn berries through a sieve. Now it's important that you have a fine mesh sieve in order to make sure that none of our seeds get through. The reason it's important not to have any of the seeds coming through is because they are actually quite toxic and poisonous to the body. Next you're going to crush and mush and push down on those berries until they become a pulp. This can take some time so it's a really good thing to work together on as a family. While you are pressing down and mushing up these wonderful hawthorn berries on the underside of your sieve, you may start to see some residue. And we're actually going to keep that residue and add that into our ketchup. Simply scrape it from the bottom of the sieve and add it into your juices. There we go. When you get to the point where you don't seem to be getting any more liquid through your pulp, what you can do is you can take your fluid, pour it back out, and then pour that through your pulp again. And begin the process of pulping through the hawthorn berries. It's really important when you are using the same utensil from the top to the bottom that you check you have got no pips on your spoon or fork before scraping away our ketchup from underneath in the sieve. You're going to get to the point where you have a lot of seeds and you may want to use your hands to force any of the remaining ketchup like liquid through your sieve. Now we're going to add our ketchup back into the pan. It's nice and thick as you can see. Return to the heat and add our sugar. Stir in our sugar. 
as we bring our ketchup up to the boil. Make sure that it is all dissolved. Then we will add our seasoning and bottle. So your ketchup is going to be hot. It's an idea just to wrap a tea towel around your funnel end into your bottle and onto the top of your bottle so that when you pour, nobody's gonna get hurt. Next, take your ketchup and simply pour. So there we have a bottle of Hawthorne Berry Ketchup. It's quite a lot of work to get a little bottle like this, but it is definitely worth it. It's a little bottle of sweet goodness that goes well with all kinds of food.